Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, and thank you for joining me. So, one of the the greatest debates that should have never even been a debate was the one with Jordan and LeBron. You said uh, uh, LeBron James, the greatest player ever? Ever. What about Michael and Kobe? So you just going to pass Kobe up like that? I'm going I'm to I'm pass Kobe up. I'm going to look at Michael. I'm going to look at the... <laughs> I'm going to look oh, at the... Oh, I know it. I know it. Patron America. Yo, yo. Patron America. The question is, who is the GOAT? The GOAT. Okay, now, to answer that question, you have to first understand what is a GOAT. <laughs> Not that GOAT. The greatest of all time. That is what the GOAT is. Now, when you say the greatest of all time, do you mean of everything? No. So, you have categories. Uh, let's say rap, for instance. Eminem says he is the GOAT, the greatest of all time. And technically, he is correct. He is a GOAT. But not of rap. He is not the GOAT of rap. He is the GOAT of being Eminem, okay? Of starting the Eminem fan club, of, of being the best rapper to combine certain antics in a genre, okay? He is a, the greatest rapper to combine rap and white people. That's why Eminem is the greatest of all time. No other white boy could come after Eminem and say he's the greatest rapper. No, because you would not have been great if it wasn't for Eminem opening that door for you, Mr. White Guy. Eminem opened that door for you. Yellow hair and all, he started that. He laid that golden... Uh, what's that? Yellow brick road so that you can walk down it, Mr. Takashi, Machine Gun Kelly. Eminem made it possible for you. That's why he is the go. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Aaron I Allen Iverson is the goat of crossovers. There was no crossing over before Alvin Allen Iverson jumped out there. He was the GOAT. He shook MJ. When it comes to crossing over people, you think of Allen Iverson. That's why he is the GOAT. The GOAT. Wilt Chamberlain stretched them arms out and hold them balls. He was the, rah, the GOAT. To go. Now, back to MJ and LeBron. MJ is the GOAT. He is the GOAT <laughs> of basketball. And let me, how can I explain this? Good evening, everybody. I'm Roy Firestone, and this is Up Close Classic. He won six NBA championships, five MVP awards, two Olympic gold medals, and countless other accolades. Considered by many the greatest athlete of the 20th century. He is, of course, Michael Jordan, the best player the NBA has ever seen. But in 1984, he was a soft-spoken college junior from North Carolina. The measure of success and greatness in basketball, University of North Carolina, is not the awards and trophies it's having a sandwich named after you. Let me give you an example. There is the sandwich named after Sam Perkins. There is the Big McAdoo named after Bob McAdoo. Dean Smith has his Smithsonian. The Larry Miller filler. And yes, there is now 
the Jordan sandwich. Let's discuss why it was almost a tongue sandwich. You know the reason. A lot of people don't. You have a habit of sticking your tongue out a lot on the court, huh? Well, it's a habit that I picked up when I was small, and uh, I got it from my father, and I just can't get rid of it. <laughs> he is a success story. MJ was the unicorn. He is the goat of entertainment in basketball. He was the goat of bringing in revenue. He is the goat of holding team his team together and taking them to the championship. He is the goat of tennis shoes in the black community. I mean, you know, he does make some great shoes. Yeah. He is the goat of the tongue out dunk. He is Mr. Hang Time. Jordan is the goat of all these things. Why? Because he coined it. He made it him. Okay? See, you see, you talk about LeBron. The championship. You said. <laughs> look at his face. You said. So y'all ever once saw me crying like that was all for 52 years. Everything in sports going on in Cleveland. And then after I stopped, I was like, that one right there made you the greatest player of all time. LeBron is what you call a freak of nature. Well, this is why I think LeBron James' greatness come in. And this is where I put him up there as one of the greatest players because of his physical gift to the game. Uh, he sort of brought the Michael, the Kobe, the Magic, the Scotty. He has all our body size. He has our speed. He has our athleticism. And he's been able to do that and play the game the right way from a statistical standpoint, getting rebounds, making everybody on the floor better. And he's also a great scorer. So that makes him great within himself. He was endowed with genetic gifts and he utilized them to his benefits. He took his skills and he played basketball because he was good at it. He, they paved the road for him because of people like MJ. And there's no game that I would ever play in and pick LeBron James over Michael Jordan. MJ. MJ made it made it to where scouts wanted to find new talent to beat this man type shit. It's just like I think about Muggsy Bowles. How short he was the reason scouts gave this paint size player a chance because of people like Muggsy Bowles. You get what I'm saying? Uh, Jordan made people like LeBron. Jordan made, rest in peace, Kobe. You get what I'm saying? Jordan is the GOAT because Jordan was an innovator. He, he created. He made things new. And this is not the opinion of somebody who, who, uh, who is a fan of basketball. I told you I'm not a sports fan like that. You get me? So this opinion that I'm giving you is somewhat different from somebody who idolized sports fans and stuff like that. See, I learned about Jordan through, uh, Word of mouth first. So I was like, hmm, let me go check this out. And he caught my attention to the point to where, damn, when this nigga played, you wanted to watch the game. Yes, I'm not a sports fan, but I watched Jordan play. I watched him. I was sat down, and I forced myself to sit there all four quarters just to see this nigga shine. LeBron can't do that. You get me? LeBron gets pushed up by the media and that throws him out there. But Jordan didn't have all of that. If you want to learn about Jordan, you have to watch Sports Center or the news or something like that. And you if you understand anything about not having technology, then you know that, that that's pretty hard to do to get people's attention to go. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's sports fans or yeah, they went to go watch it. Yeah, I get it, whatever. But I was not a sports fan. So for him to captivate my attention, that was something. ADHD, nigga, I'm fucking ADHD. So, yes, that's how great Jordan 
Wolves. Who would I rather have on my team? Mm. Be careful. Michael Jordan. Thank you. We bought his shoes. These niggas' shoes came. Matter of fact, his shoes are so great that people still buy them, and he ain't even affiliated with the motherfuckers. Do you get what I'm saying? The Jumpman logo. Space Jam. LeBron, you are just a carbon copy, and not even a good copy. You like what happens when the machine don't work as good as it was when we first bought it. Uh, <laughs> I see it on my, on my my feed every time I post something with this jackass across from me. Um... <laughs> That's what you are. You are, you are some paper that we just look. Fuck it, we just use it. Type nigga. That's what you are. You're that guy. You get what I'm saying? Yes, yes. You're a good player. I I would never take that away from you. But you do not have the charisma that Jordan had. Michael Jordan, as you'll learn in just a few moments, didn't make his high school basketball team one year and sprouted up from a, a height of six foot one, which obviously is not very tall for a basketball player, to six five in one year. Let's backtrack for a moment. You didn't make a high school basketball team. Now you're the nation's college, nation's best college player. Well, I didn't make my varsity, and that was a big thing in high school. And uh, I wasn't that good. I was at a height of six one, and I really didn't develop my abilities until after I grew up. Michael, what were you eating that you can sprout up four inches like that? I don't know. Yeah, whatever I was eating, it was good, man. It helped me out. <laughs> you ran off on your team as as soon as you saw that you, you didn't have a chance. <laughs> Jordan never did that. Jordan played with his team all the way. To the end, T took him, took him there. He took him there. You get what I'm saying? Not you. You ran. You ran to another team to find other players to help you. You need to help. You need to help, LeBron. It's pretty sad. I ain't gonna lie. I gave up on you once you did that because that's weak. This is your your hometown type shit. You get what I'm saying? And you left him like a motherfucker. You know, you ran out like a bitch. He ran off like a bitch. Anyway, uh, Jordan, I like that. Jordan was a fucking unicorn. He didn't start out gifted. No, matter of fact, they told him that he couldn't. He couldn't do it. They said he couldn't do it. And he proved them wrong. Jordan was like fucking Rocky. Look at the eye of a tiger. He had the eye of a tiger. This nigga had that glimmer in his eye. A glimmer. And it's not like you. You don't have no glimmer in your eye. You're like a little spoiled ass kid who everybody just gave a whole bunch of stuff to. So you, you think you're entitled to it. Jordan, no, Jordan fought for what he got. You get me? That's why he is the greatest of all time. You get me? All around. This nigga was a fucking unicorn. A unicorn, nigga. Not you. He, he No, no. You're made. You're, you're a maid. You, they made you. Jordan was a made man. They made you. Jordan is, was a made man. You get me? In the end, uh, as a prediction, mm, we we not even gonna remember you when you go. Somebody else gonna take your place. That's how that's how sad you gonna be. And we gonna still be talking about how Jordan is the great. That championship instinct, that killer. That he didn't have to go learn it. From Pat Riley and Dwayne Wade. He had it. But the, it's not about how you learned it. It's about the fact that when you once you finally have it, you use that in your arsenal, okay. right, Jeff? Right. That, you're saying that he didn't always have it. He didn't always have Correct. it. Correct. That's okay, though. So, I'm, not, so, I'm not doing so this. I, I'm going to take the guy that always had it. What the were you guy thinking? I saw make a jump oh, shot. And win, I saw not. the guy that win a championship in college. The greatest. Again, because he 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 took control. He, he was the man's man. He was a basketball's basketball type play. You give me the ball. If the ball could talk, who do you think the ball would go to? You or Jordan? It would go to Jordan. You give, if the goal could speak, who you think it would be talking to? Jordan. Jordan. If it was telling stories about who slammed on it the best, will it be you, LeBron? No. The basketball goal will talk about Jordan. I beat just a little over the line. Just a shucks, man. I can't do it. Jordan, not you. Now, we're not saying you're not good. You're good. But Jordan was great. The greatest of all time. <laughs>
Stay in your place, sir. Stay in your place and keep praying to the Jordan gods that maybe one day you'll be on this level. But today, huh, huh, ain't today. It ain't your day. Well, guys, that's the story for today. I just had to give my two cents on why why Jordan is great and LeBron, mm, whatever. It's on Sunday! Anyway, 